Hi, I'm Terry Diddy with Century 21 Select Group. I'm here at Getaway Park in the hideout to bring you another two minute real estate tip. So today we're gonna to give you some tips on how to flip. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity knocking here. When you're viewing a potential investment properties, you really wanna do your research and check everything out. And this is where I think it is wise to consult a real estate agent who's familiar with these projects. Remember, even the best flipped house will be difficult to sell if it's in an undesirable neighborhood. But once you've found the property, secured your financing, passed the inspections, and purchased the house, that's where the real work begins. So I have some tried and true tips uh, to help you have a successful flip. First of all, establish and stick to your budget. So your budget needs to be realistic for all the necessary repairs and you always have to build in a cushion for all those unforeseen surprises that come along when you start renovating. Uh, do your homework. Renovations often require permits, some require variances, so you want to do that early so you can start renovating right away, get that property flipped and sold. So you also want to develop a timeline. If you choose to do the renovations yourself, or you're hiring professionals. You need to have an accurate timeline of when your project is gonna be complete. Time is money, and every day that that house uh, stays um, off the market and still under construction, you're accruing uh, carrying costs, and, and so your profit will not be what it should be. Know your target market. Familiarize yourself uh, with what the target market would uh, demand, what they expect, and most importantly, what they can afford in that area to absorb the cost of, uh, of your improvements. So focus on what sells. Um, this probably speaks for itself, but of course, kitchens and bathrooms, uh, entryways and facades and landscaping are something sometimes left uh, out. And those are really important because that's your curb appeal that um, if, if they like the outside, they'll come and look at the inside. Stay neutral. Don't be going crazy with outlandish colors. You want to choose color palettes and materials and appliances that have a wide appeal. And then lastly, leave your ego at the door. If your potential buyers just don't appreciate all that hard work you put in, uh, don't take it personally. This is your business. Just remain calm in that situation, and I'm sure you're going to do just fine. So I hope you found this tip helpful. We're always looking to be of good service to you. And I hope to see you around the neighborhood.